Welcome back to another video friends and today we are going to talk about updating a resource in our CRUD application. So far we went through listing them and showing individual posts. We also handled creating a post. So let's just create a post and press create. That will take us to the home page and we could also delete these posts. So in this video we want to cover updating. The first step is to add a button here that will take us to the update page. So let's open our project and then open the show component. So in this div where I have the delete button, I'm just going to add a link. And for the classes, I'm just going to copy these from the button above, which is the delete button and change the color to green. The text should say update and let's provide the href. And for now, I'm just going to leave it. Make sure the link is imported from inertia. Now, if we go back to our website, this is our button. And when we click on this one, we want to go to the edit page. So let's go back to our project and open post controller. And if we scroll, we should find this two functions that are in charge of updating a post. The first one, which is edit, would render a form for us. And the second one, which is update, would actually update the post. So I'm going to go back to terminal and list our routes by saying php artisan route colon list. So you notice we have this get route that goes to posts then a dynamic id then edit so we want to use this route to show our form so first let's create a component for it inside our pages folder and i'm just going to call it edit and then grab everything from the create.jsx because it's going to be quite similar and then paste it here and then go through these and modify it for our update method so of course we need to use the use form from inertia and we do need the data and the set data but this time we don't need the post method we want to either patch our resource or use the put method so i'm going to extract put from use form and we still need the errors and processing so the only thing that is changing here is the http method now when we submit the form we want to go through a different route again going back to our routes list we have this put or patch route which goes through forward slash posts and then the id so first we need to change this post to put as we are extracting it up here and then we want to change this to a backtick and say forward slash posts forward slash and then the id of a post right now we don't have access to the post we need to grab it as a prop but for now i'm just going to hard code number 12 and i'm going to delete this log and then go through our markup for our head element i'm going to change the title to edit the title should say update or edit your post and we don't need to change the text area the errors are going to be there and maybe just change the text for the button to update post so back to our show component we have the link that will take us to the edit page we just created now this route is expecting a dynamic value or in this case a post which is our resource and again if we take a look at this route you notice we have this post so we need to pass in this particular post that we are looking at in our show component so much like what we did with this delete form up here we can either hard code it using backticks or we can use that route function which we imported up here from the package ziggy we installed in the previous videos so again i'm going to show you both ways so for the href we want to get rid of these quotations and add curly brackets and then use the backticks go to forward slash posts and another forward slash then use dollar sign curly brackets to add post.id and remember we are inside this component in which we have access to a post now after this curly brackets we want to add another forward slash and type edit because this is our route so this will take us to the edit page for this particular post now let's go to our post controller and tell our edit function to render this edit component so we just want to return inertia and the component we want to use, we called it edit. And then we want to send this post to our edit component as a prop. So we can say post is the post that we get from the route. And I can end this statement. So this show method sends this post up to the controller and this edit method grabs that post and send it to the edit view. So now we can say I am expecting a post as a prop. So now down here, instead of hard coding number 12, I can just say post.id. So let's see if this works. I'm going to go back to our website, give it a refresh, and maybe I would create a post so it's easier to see. So this is my post and create. 
now I'm going to click on my post and you notice the ID is 37 so I'm going to click on the update we are on the update page the ID is 37 and we see our edit form now we need to populate this text area with the current post body and that's quite easy we just have to replace this empty string with the post body that we already have so we can just say post body and that would be the initial value of our text area so back to our project if we give it a refresh now you see our text is here so now all we have to do is to handle this form submit and in our post controller the update method is going to do that but before doing that i'm just going to die and dump the post that we are accepting up here also i just want to add that sleep function for one second so we see that waiting effect so if i just press update like this we will see our spinners also we get our post and if we take a look at attributes we have the id 37 and the body of our post so we are successfully grabbing the post and sending it back to the backend application to handle it now updating a post is very similar to creating a post so i'm going to grab these three statements from our store method and just paste it down here and change a few things so of course first we want to validate the field so we don't need to change this part but we don't want to create a new one we want to just update the post that we already have so we can grab that post and we have an update method available on that which takes an array just like the create method so we can easily pass down this field that would update the post with the new values. And then we can redirect back to the home page. But this time I'm going to return with a message. So we did this in the previous videos with the flash messages. But if I copy this and just paste it up here and keep the name or the key the same, we would see this message. Now the styles will not be right because this is for an error message and we are doing an update here. But just to show you it works, we are just going to say the post was updated successfully. And so the background is going to be red, but that's fine. All right, so let's actually update our post. I'm going to go back to the home page, then click read more, then update. Then I just want to add the word updated and maybe add an emoji here. So just press update post. It will take a second. Back to the home page, we see our flash message for a few seconds. And then we also see our post that has been updated. That's how easily we can just update a resource using Laravel, Inertia, and React. But now let's clean up a bit. First of all, let's go to our show page. And right now we are hard coding this route, but I want to use that route function. So again, I'm just gonna copy this, comment it out, and paste it down here so we can have that as a reference. Then I'm gonna delete this whole thing, use the route function, and pass the name of the route. So you can grab the name from your terminal and that is posts edit. So I can just say posts edit and as a second argument, we want to pass the post itself. So we don't need to say post ID because Laravel is looking for a resource, not for a field. And Laravel automatically bind this resource to a route. So this is the first step. Then we want to go to our edit component, do the same thing for this put method. Again, I'm going to copy it, comment it out, paste it down here. Now we need to import that route here since we don't have access to it. So I'm just gonna go back to the show component, copy the import first, paste it down here. Also copy this line and paste it here so we have access to the route. Then when we submit the form, we want to use that route function. So I can say route and the route we want to use is this one. So posts.update like that, which again is looking for a post and we already have access to it because we are accepting it as a prop. And that's it. So let's do it one more time. Again, I'm going to update the same post and I'm just going to add the word again. Press update post. We will wait a second. We see the flash message and also the post that has been updated, but now we are using this route function. So to recap, the link we have in our show component will send the post to our post controller and then our edit function takes that post to render a form that would update that post and sends that resource or the post to our component. Now the component takes that as a prop so we can use it in our form and then when we are done with it we send it back to our post controller where our update method is in charge of updating that particular post and the rest is just Laravel. And of course if you go to our home component we have our flash message down here we can either make this conditional or we can make it into a component where you can pass the color 
of that message conditionally or just manually the way you want. We could also make another flash message. So let's open handle inertia request. You notice we have a message here, which is kind of generic. We can add another one. So if I just add a comma here and duplicate this line, and let's just call this second one success. So we need to change this here as well. So back to our post controller, instead of using message as the key, I can use that success. And then in our home page, I can copy this statement and paste it here. And we already have access to flash up here. So I can just say flash dot success. So I'm not worried about making it reactive. I just want to show the message and also change the background to green. Now back to our project. Let's update this one more time. Press update. I'm just going to delete everything and say hi. Press the button and we see the flash message, which is green, but it's going to stay there because now it's not reactive and we have to either go to another page or give it a reload. But that's all about our application with Laravel, Inertia, and React. We successfully built a CRUD application and you can easily add more functionalities. This is basically what we need to use inertia as a middleman between our backend, which is Laravel and the frontend application that could be either React, Vue.js, Svelte or other things. And of course you can easily add authentication to this application just the same way we created forms and we submitted them to the backend, which is our Laravel application. So this is it for this video and this series. And I'm not planning to add more videos to this unless something specific comes up but this is our CRUD application so thank you all for your support and I'll see you at the next one